in the five o'clock hour with an update on the murder trial of Brian Cohey Jr., which entered its fourth day this morning. Our Rob Hagan has been covering the trial all week long. He's standing by live at the Mesa County Justice Center with more. Rob, what's the latest? Mike, for the last few days, I've been bringing the Western Slope right into the courtroom with our exclusive expanded media coverage. And yes, folks, we are sharing with our competitors. Now here on day four of the People versus Kohi, the nearly two hour video of Kohi's murder confession is reviewed and Kohi's dad takes the stand. Here's the latest. On Thursday, Terry Kohi took the stand, forced to relive the horrific moments from nearly two years ago when she found a human head in her son's closet. And on Friday, Dad took the stand. The currently unemployed Brian Kohi Sr., who founded the local Save a Life Jacket program in 1994, broke down the night of the murder for prosecutors while his son, nearly devoid of all emotion, shared a scowl with his dad. Kohi Sr. describes an odd family movie night back in February 27, 2021, where his son Brian picked the movie 1984, which Kohi Sr. and his wife of 27 years found to be a strange choice for a family get-together. Family time ended at 10 o'clock, and hours later on February 28th, Kohi Sr. recalls feeling suspicious when he saw blood on the trunk and questioned his son, but a cold, calculating Kohi Jr. told his parents he cut his finger. When the Kohis reclaimed their son's river-dipped car, Kohi Sr. says he found the wallet belonging to Barnes, found a knife in the glove box and white latex gloves. The knife was clean. Kohi Sr. told prosecutors about the day of his son's arrest after his wife discovered the human head and heard his son tell deputies, quote, I murdered him with a knife. I always wanted to know what murder felt like. This wouldn't be the first time Kohi Jr. said these words. During the video of his interrogation, he gives investigators a detailed account of the night of the murder. He says as he paused from stabbing Barnes up to 40 times while grunting with excitement. And Barnes asked him, why are you doing this? And Kohi says, I've been wanting to do this for a long expletive time. Now, folks, a couple of bombs dropped on the prosecution today because they have to prove beyond a reasonable doubt to that jury that Kohi was indeed sane at the time of the murder. Now, one, Kohi's dad said his son was hearing whispers at night about a year before that murder. And two, Kohi told investigators at times he feels like everyone is watching him, including the birds and the walls. And just one side note, Kohi's dad said it took deputies an hour to get to the house after his wife called 911 after finding that human head and Kohi Jr. himself said he was shocked when deputies didn't handcuff him. The trial continues Monday and we'll be there. Until then, first on the Western Slope live at the Mesa County Justice Center, Rob Hagan, KREX 5 News. Mike. Thank you, Rob. The Mesa County Sheriff's Office